Okay, guys. I think we're going to take him. He's about 25 out right there. Well, a new map based off of the Colorado Rockies is going to be coming out soon called the Silver Ridge Peaks. And it's actually going to be coming out on PC first on June 23rd of 2020. It's going to be coming out a little bit later on console on July 8th of 2020. But what I'm most looking forward to hunting is the turkey. One, because we haven't had a turkey on Call of the Wild in, well, forever. But besides the turkey, we're also going to have pronghorn, we're going to have rocky mountain elk, we're going to have mule deer, we're going to have black bear, bighorn sheep, mountain lion, mountain goat, plains bison. You know, as I was heading over to go look for some turkey, I actually found this guy. I'm pretty sure that's a melanistic plains bison. And I'm also pretty sure that was a perfect shot because she's down. Well, let's go take a look. A very cool looking melanistic. This is the first melanistic bison I've ever gotten and it ended up being a spinal cord left lung. And that is a melanistic plains bison. Very cool. I actually have a couple of setups set out here for turkeys and that's what I've been doing for the last few hours now. Getting some setups set up and I'm going to show you based off of what we have going on. All right, so basically this is what I have set up here. I have one turkey set up here with a ground blind and a tree stand. I have a ground blind and a tree stand here with decoys here. And I have a ground blind and a tree stand with decoys here. And I think there's another spot that we're looking for over here. But basically there are, I think, eight different species of animals on this map, which is a lot of animals. And mainly what I wanna do is focus on hunting for turkeys. All right, guys, we just got to our first setup here. We have a couple decoys about 30 yards away from us here. And the other day I was out in this area scouting around. I saw a big old gobbler over here, full strut, right out in this kind of uh, little grass field here. And then there was another tom, maybe 50 yards behind him. Not quite as big, but still a pretty decent gobbler. And what I want to do now is see if we can't get their attention and hope that that big gobbler shows up. He shouldn't be too far away. Alright guys, I see him. All I can see is a red head right between these two decoys there, but if you look closely, oh, we just spotted him. That's him right there. He's sitting out there at about 45.50. I'm trying to call a little bit, but I don't know if he seems too interested. Got a bunch of pronghorn coming in here as well. Oh, how cool is that? Big old red head coming in. He's really not that far away, but I want to get a good look at him when he comes in here. Our decoys are roughly about 28 yards away. So when he comes out to this opening here, that's pretty much how far he's going to be. Let's just keep an eye on though. Look at his head coming in. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, the only thing cooler right now it would be if he gobbled. But even if he doesn't, this is just awesome. See how he's taking his time? He knows something isn't quite right, so he's actually slowing down and going back the other direction. So that means we have to try and call a little bit more to keep him interested. Oh, that sounds so cool. So he knows something's up. He's out there at 40, 45 yards out, and he he knows something's up. Even, even though we have a perfect wind here, I don't understand if maybe because we don't have perfect cover, we're in a kind of ground blind here, but... Yeah, he, he knows something's up. I still see him, but he just doesn't want to quite come any closer. He's sitting out there at about 30, 35, but he's in this tall grass and we can barely, barely see him. Well, even though we had a really good setup, sometimes turkey hunting doesn't go as you plan. And that's exactly what happened. I think the problem is we had too thick of grass all around us and we couldn't really see in there to be able to call out these turkeys. So it just so happened that I had a tree stand set up on uh, the opposite side of these decoys here. And now we got up in here and we can actually see basically what we have going on. You can see both toms out there, maybe like 60 yards out. I've been trying to call a little bit, but I want to see if they're going to come a little bit closer. Oh, here we go. Finally, we've been sitting in the ground blind for like 30 minutes now. And this gobbler won't come close enough to us. I mean, let's just say he was close enough, but he wasn't. Well, we couldn't see him. He was in too thick of grass, but now we have him right out in the wide open here. And that is pretty awesome. He's only about 35 out right there. Definitely in range. Um, but I think I want to get him to come over here a little bit more. So we'll see. Yeah, he's right there at 35 yards out. Okay, perfect. I really like where he's at right there. 35 yards away. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly where I want him. <laughs> for 
first gobbler down. Just smoked him right out of this tree stand here. The other Tom doesn't even know what's going on. So we might actually get lucky enough to be able to take him as well. But I tell you what, this would be a perfect time to be sitting in our blind right now because that Tom would have walked right past huh, like 20, 25 yards away from us. Right now he's about 50, which yeah, we could take that, but let's see. You know what, if he's gonna hold out there at 50. Got him! We just dropped him. Did we make a double lung shot? 50 yards out? You know, turkeys are really smart and that's actually why I put a tree stand right here just because I knew that if these turkeys won't come into the blind, then we're gonna go over and get in the stand and try and call them in the other way. And that's exactly what we had to do and it worked out really well. But this is gonna be our first big tom turkey of the new Rocky Mountain map and that actually looks pretty sweet right there. Maybe we'll turn the light on? Uh, maybe not, that doesn't look too cool. Um, but we're gonna get rid of this little icon here. Yeah, just like that. And yeah, that's actually not bad like that. We'll take maybe one more. I mean, that's our first nice Tom and our first turkey with a bow. So it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be a gold and we ended up making, looks like a left lung at 37 yards out. It looks like it was going kind of right towards the heart, but we hit the uh, breastbone there and it just stopped it pretty much on impact. But a 4.4 gold, we need a 4.6 for a diamond, so that's a pretty big old gobbler. 37 yards away, and yeah, we'll definitely get this guy mounted. Uh, let's take a look at him a little bit better here, but... I'm wondering... If we can see the length of the beard. I don't see that anywhere. Trophy type combined. Um... So yeah, hopefully eventually we'll be able to see like the size of the spurs and the size of the beard. But judging by this Tom here, I would say that's about like a, a nine and a half inch gobbler, nine and a half inch beard with probably uh, close to five eighths inch spurs on them. So it's a very respectable one, but yeah, that's awesome. And like I said, we're definitely getting a mounted. 1500 cash, it's actually not too expensive. I wanna go over here now and find out how big this one is. I don't think it's gonna be a gold or even as big. I know it's not gonna be as big as the other one, but I also wanna find out where we hit this gobbler. And actually, that went down in a really cool spot. Even though he's not as big, that's gonna be a pretty cool picture there. And let's pick him up. It is gonna be a gold as well. And a four scoring goal, just barely a goal, but 49 yards away, ended up making a left lung vertebrae shot. So we hit a little bit high. I thought we'd have some drop. I was zeroed in for, well, my red dot is 40 dead on, right? So I held 40 for the top of the lung for 50, but it looks like we didn't get hardly any drop on that. Um, but I would say that this Tom here probably has somewhere around like a, an eight inch beard or something like that. Maybe like half inch burst. Uh, change of plans here. I wasn't really planning on getting ready this fast, but we have a Tom coming in super fast. Now we just got to this spot here and I heard a mating call, but I also heard a gobble. That means that the turkeys gobble. Well, at least the males do, which are the Toms. And that's one right there looking at us about maybe 40 or 50 yards out here. So maybe we'll crouch down because I don't want to spook him. But yeah, they in fact do gobble. The thing is, this Tom's actually coming in on the backside that I wasn't really planning. You can see how you can just see his red head peeking up over that ridge though. He's right there at about 60 out. I don't know how close he's going to come. So we have our decoys set up right here, right? So I was actually planning on the Tom coming in or the turkeys coming in from this side. But for some reason, they must like, they must roost up in there or something. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, right there, right there, right there, right there. 20 yards away. Oh, he just stuck in so fast. He's right in this bush. Well, we had that Tom 20 yards away from us, and honestly, I haven't seen him since. I heard a couple of warning calls, but since then, 
That was the last time we saw him. So since these turkeys are so smart, what I want to do is take down this blind. And we actually have like this little bush right here. I think we're just going to sit right in this little bush and try and call in those turkeys or at least that one tom into these decoys here and see if we can't get them with the bow. All right, guys, it looks like our Tom's coming in nice here. He's coming in about 80 yards out, kind of right through the bottom of this grass like I thought he was going to come. He doesn't really have to come too much further, but you know what? If he gets somewhere around here, we'll probably take him. I really don't know if he's going to come all the way to decoys or not, so let's watch. He definitely is coming in pretty fast. He's out there at about 60. Real nice gobbler. Yeah, right there. I don't even want to call at this point because he's so close that it could potentially spook him. Okay, he's 50 yards away. I don't know if he's going to come any closer. But he's in the grass, so we'll have to wait a little bit. I've yet to have a turkey come into the decoys. Well, at least not as I'm in the ground. Oh, is he just... I think he was just flapping his wings. That was pretty sweet. Come on, do it again. Come on. See, these turkeys are so smart. They're so smart. And I mean, honestly, the way that they made these turkeys so smart is pretty much spot on realistic, especially with the visibility. Like we're completely invisible right now. And he still knows something is not right. He can see somewhat of the blind. I mean, we're completely invisible, but the blind, I don't think is completely invisible. And I think he knows that. Okay, guys, I think we're going to take him. He's about 25 out right there. Oh, come on. Got him. Big gobbler. All right, he is down. He ran a little ways, but I mean, it's to be expected, especially if you take him down with a bow. I'd say he ran maybe like 10 or 15 yards. Anyways, let's get over and go get him. Man, he came in so close. He was actually sitting out there at roughly probably like 30 yards out. I mean, he might have came a little bit closer, but you know what? We weren't going to risk it, and we took a shot, and it looked good. Let's go take a look. Oh, well, here he is, and ended up getting... We actually hit the uh breastbone so we were a little bit too far forward but still got a gold of 4.3 another big old gold tom turkey at 32 yards away and this guy here looks like he has a big beard as well i would say that's like a nine inch beard with maybe like three quarter inch spurs but that's pretty sweet as well that's going to be our second biggest tom but we do know now to hold back a little bit more Actually, was he facing kind of like that? He was quartering like that. We hit the breastbone, but we have to hold back a little bit more next time. So what I figured out is when you're using these waterfall blinds like this, basically what you want to do is come all the way to the edge of this grass here and be a little bit in the grass and a little bit in the water. That way you have full camouflage when you get inside. You can see right now we only have basically like partial camouflage, but if you get right here, there are no chances that the turkey can actually see you. We're completely 100% invisible. And that's why that turkey came so close to us, which was pretty much like right there at 30 yards away. Now I've actually had a couple of turkeys come to the decoys and they do fly away. So I don't know if it's a bug or what, but when they get close to the decoys, don't just sit there and let them walk around because you might never see them again. But I mean, hopefully this gets fixed because eventually they should be able to come in and kind of just chew around the decoys and you can watch them a little bit more. I, I might try that out in the next hunt, but we'll see. For now, yeah, that uh turned out pretty well. All right, guys, so we just got eyes on another really nice gobbler out here. He's a pretty decent sized one at about 160 out, but he's kind of behind these trees here. What I want to do is sneak over here along this ridge line, try and get to this tree here, and maybe call him out and see if we can't take him down with a 10 gauge. So we should be somewhere around like 50 yards away from this gobbler here. We've been prone for a little while now, 
And I haven't seen him yet, but it's because it's so thick here. There's so much grass we can't see over this ridge. But hopefully we can see him. So oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Perfect. 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 He's right there. He's only like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows we're here. All right, guys, we're just gonna have to go for it. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, we snuck up to like 40 yards away from that big old gobbler and just smoked him with a 10 gauge. Man, I didn't know we'd get this close to him. I was hoping to get within like 60, but uh, I think we actually got to somewhere around like 40. <laughs> wow. Oh, let's grab him. He seems to be kind of moving on us, but let's grab him. 34 hits at 46 yards away. Let's take a look and see what our pattern did to this gobbler. That is impressive. Wow. 34 hits. Looks like this one hit pretty much right in the neck. And this one just missed it. And then we got a bunch of hits kind of in the chest. So we might have been a little bit low. But I actually thought that he was way closer than that. So I kind of held low. But that's, that's a lot of penetration. He scored 4.10 and that's a gold. Nice. So our first gobbler down with the shotgun. Well, I thought we'd change it up a little bit here and actually go after some bighorn. I found a really good spot where I saw a huge ram and I happen to have a tree stand set up right here. So we're going to try and slide over, get into this tree stand and see if we can't find this huge bighorn sheep. He's right there. Oh, there's actually two of them. Two really big rams. I think that's the, yeah, that's the big one right there. He's 15 yards away and there's another one right there i guess they're both very similar to the same size but yeah that right there is an awesome ram i think we're gonna take him down wow i didn't think we could get this close to him it seems like the turkey are even smarter than the bighorns which that might be true okay well it looks like the sun's coming out now and we're actually gonna be able to take a shot when he turns his head the problem is, he's right next to that other one right now, so if we took that shot... I'm going for that one, actually. We took it, and we dropped him. Oh, man, that was pretty awesome. And this is going to be our first bighorn sheep right here that we just got with the bow out of the tree stand. That should be a good one. Let's find out what he's going to score. A 147 gold. Uh, it says he's a black fur type, which I don't know what that means, but... He ended up weighing 300 pounds and ended up making a shoulder blade double lung shot at 15 yards away. We're using the 420 grain arrows as well. So smoke that ram and that's actually a pretty decent one. We need 164 for a diamond. Let's actually take a look at the true score on this because like I said, it's our first bighorn sheep. We've been wanting these for so long in the game. Then we got the Mufalon, which we were kind of content with for a little while, but it still wasn't a big horn. I love the texture on kind of like the grooves of the horns on this thing right here. Man, that is pretty detailed. I really, really like that. And I'm so excited that we can finally hunt the big horn sheep. Awesome Ram and let's get him mounted. Well, what do we have there? That is a big gobbler. 270 yards away he's just sitting out there now we just took down that one with a 10 gauge here and we're got some mule deer going over there too as well but uh, this might be a really cool opportunity to try and sneak up on this gobbler as well we got a perfect win so let's go for it all right there he is we just snuck up to about 60 yards out from this big gobbler here he's actually working his way around the back side here which might not be a bad thing but i do want to try and call him and get him to slow down a little bit we don't have a ton of cover here, but I mean, we have decent cover. Okay, so he's calm. He's about 60 still. But like I said, he's coming around the back side here. Ideally, I would like him to work his way this direction. We really can't move too much or he'll possibly spook, so I don't want to do that. But 
Uh, I guess we'll try and get a little bit closer. Possibly. There he is, there he is, there he is. Right there, 30 yards away. I think we're going to take it. Come on. Oh, he was coming in fast. But we dropped him. For some reason, sometimes when they trot in fast like that, they actually spook and they fly. That's why we went for kind of a trotting shot. Not only that, he would have been in this brush here and we wouldn't even be able to see him. So, well, here he is. And that actually will be a really cool picture if we can get one. Maybe we can walk over here and flatten this part down. Oh, yes, we can. All right, let's take a really cool picture of this gobbler. Actually, it's better from up here. And it seems like the sun just went behind the clouds, but it should come out here in a second. All right, now we finally have sun and we can take a really cool picture of our nice gobbler here that we snuck up to about 20 yards out and let one fly. Let's grab him. Ended up with a left lung. That is gonna be our biggest gobbler yet. Almost a diamond. 4.6 is diamond. This thing scored 4.50. Ended up with left lung at 23 yards out and we just missed the heart. Look at that. Awesome shot as he was coming at us here and definitely gonna get this mounted because he's our biggest gobbler yet. All right, we got him mounted, but let me show you where we just got that big old gobbler from. This is actually the second gobbler. We just got that other one with the 10 gauge here, maybe like, well, 200 yards away from us. But if you look at the map, we're by Lake Prospect, which is on the far east side of the map here. And the zone for that turkey was here from 530 until 1500. That's where we got the one with the 10 gauge. And the second one we just got right here from 5 until 15. You'll notice that the turkey don't really drink very much right now. It seems like the only zones for turkey are basically eating zones. And it's all day long from 5 o'clock in the morning until 15. So don't be hunting around the water too much. I mean, they're not too far away from the water. Uh, the last turkey zone is actually right on the water, I think. This one here. Yeah, 5.30 until 15.30. That was pretty close to the water, but again, it wasn't drinking. And also, the turkey that we ended up taking down was way up here as well. So, just because the zone is here doesn't mean that that's where the turkeys come from. Ooh, that is kind of a giant pronghorn antelope, and it's going to be our first one. I don't think we're going to pass up this opportunity. He's about 250 out. Hopefully, he slows down. That looked good, but uh, I can't see. Yes, he's down. He's going to score 86.9 and double lunged him at 257. But how far off from a diamond was he? Um, actually, not too far. Maybe like 12 points, which that's, uh, I mean, that's pretty big. I would say that is the big um, horn, I think. Yeah, I think, it, I think that's definitely the big one. But let's take a look at true score on this. Very, very cool. Really, really symmetrical and tall. Kind of like a wide uh, palm there. And yeah, that's that's an awesome. Awesome looking first pronghorn of the hunt there. And let's take a look at how we did with the M1. It actually dropped in there really nicely at 257. Tucked it right behind the front shoulder and double lung. This big old pronghorn. Very cool. All right, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge here. We decided to get three really nice Tom turkeys mounted, including this giant here that scored 4.5, which just barely missed being a diamond. Then we also have a 4.4 and a 4.3 over there as well. You can see this guy here is in the strutting position, which I really like that. And then this one here is kind of like the walking, looking at you position. And this one here is just walking. It doesn't really know anything's up, but actually this position here makes the beard look huge. And especially if you see a turkey walking like this, they look massive. Also, we did get a huge bighorn in the end. I think he scored 147, which 
I believe 160s diamond so that was actually a big ram as well and it was a black color too so I don't know if that's a fur variation or a rare or what but probably just like a fur variation but yeah overall it was a pretty awesome time and this is our huge pronghorn 86.9 scoring pronghorn that we got man I can't wait to get back out there and do some more hunting but overall that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time